The Georgia Supreme Court says a woman can sue the producers of the Girls Gone Wild videos. They used her picture without her permission. And News Sense 6, Channel 2's Amy Napier-Viteri talked to the woman tonight about what she'd like to see done to keep this from happening to other girls. Amy's live outside the Georgia Supreme Court tonight. That's where that ruling was made. Amy? Javita, Lindsay Boyd tells us she can't believe that she can finally move forward in her case against the producers of Girls Gone Wild. It was almost 13 years ago she flashed a cameraman in Florida while on a trip there when she was just 14. Now she's a married mother to a five-month-old daughter, and she says she wants to see new laws put in place to protect young women from the same thing happening to them. It's crazy. I can't believe I'm 27 years old with a baby and a husband and a career. Lindsay Boyd is in a very different place in her life now, but she's still fighting over a decision she made as a 14-year-old. I would just say that one stupid decision could, I mean, it's changed my life. Like, it has completely changed my life. Now Boyd is hoping to finally leave that decision behind her. Thursday afternoon, Georgia's Supreme Court ruled she does have grounds to sue the producers of Girls Gone Wild for using a topless photo of her without her permission. Boyd was on a supervised spring break trip in April of 2000 when she agreed to flash a man with a video camera. She says she had no idea that image would be sold to Girls Gone Wild. It ended up on TV and internet ads and on the cover of Girls Gone Wild, College Girls Exposed. She clearly is a child. I mean, the picture. Boyd's attorney, Jeff Banks, says the court didn't address whether Boyd, at just 14, was capable of consenting to be in the video. But it was clear on one point where she can sue. According to the court, she is a private citizen whose image was arguably used without her consent to endorse a product for commercial gain. Whether I consented to do that or not, I d which I didn't consent, but you're 14 years old, I'm still a child. Boyd changed high schools three times after the photo went public and says her reputation suffers to this day. And hopefully people will learn from it, we can all move on. Boyd's case can now head back to federal court where she and her lawyer will wait for a trial date to be set. She told me she will be happy when she can put all of this behind her, but she does hope that other young people can learn from what she's been through. We're live in downtown Atlanta. Amy Napier-Viteri, Channel 2 Action News. Nightbeat. Amy, thank you.